Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle, and now just our great Melson for teaching truth and for ruling well. And peace, salutation to Yahweh, out there pushing and defending his gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as you believers, anyhow, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the men as well as the women. Uh, this is a brother Kahan Allah from the GMS Hawaii, and I'm coming through with another quick lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying. <laughs> You know, um, concerning, you know, what your brothers and sisters see here, you know, which ultimately, you know, uh, shows us how, you know, how morally um, this place, you know, chiefly Babylon the Great, man, is just a uh, finish, man. You know, the... the the ways of this world are uh, are entering a new level of well they have entered for a while already a new well a new um a new um level of wickedness man you know and as we see you know today man Esau Edom is trying to push this agenda you know which we we don't want to get too into detail with mentioning these you know people man but they're pushing this agenda all over all over the place, man. Pushing it on the children, forcing it down, you know, everybody's throat, man. You know, and, and this shows you how, you know, we living in the last days, man. Because just like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, man, you know, the Lord let the wickedness built up to, to a point, you know, and then uh, ultimately what? Judge them. You know, he destroyed them, man. Lord willing, you know, as a matter of fact, um... Uh, Let's get it real quick. Um, uh -huh, before I forget the scripture, oh, I'll select like it. You know, they were said as, um, <laughs> They were set as an example, man, for for us in the future, man, of what that activity uh, ultimately brings, man. You know, like the scriptures tell us, you know, that that what that the wages of sin is what death, and uh, you know, those people are into, you know, those activities. Um, that's what they're gonna receive, man. You know, um, right here, this is uh, the book of Peter's. Second Peter's, well, actually, let's click on that. I don't know if it's Second Peter's, yeah. Second Peter's 2 uh, and verse. <clears throat> uh, I'll start at verse uh, 4. Second Peter's 2 and verse 4, it says, For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, speaking about his, uh, you know, his people, Israel, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, you know, which that's these bodies that we're living on now, you know, and hell being what? Uh, a condition, man. You know, the condition that we as uh, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Seminole Indians are living in now is, is, is compared unto hell, man. You know, a place of, of constant um, uh, spiritual and uh, physical uh, torture, you know. You know, now we live on a more of a spiritual one, but, you know, we went through chattel slavery, through all these captivities, man, that destroyed us, you know? And today, the, the, the biggest uh, uh, destruction is what? In our mind, man. Because Esau, Edom, and these nations have completely destroyed the minds of, of our people, man. And this is why we see our people acting the way they do, man. You know, ultimately, again... Being part of, of the curses, you know, like it, we're, we're saying, we're reading here, it says, For the Most High spare not the angels, spare not us, but cast them down into hell. So he was the one that put all these things upon us. You know, verse 5, it says, And spare not the, the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, of bringing in the flood upon the world of, an unga of the ungodly. <laughs> So the Heavenly Father, back in the day, he didn't spare anybody, man, besides Noah and his sons, you know, and, and, and their wives, you know, because of why? Because of the, the wickedness that was going on, 
you know it says uh verse 6 and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes or uh, condemned them with an overthrow making them an example an example unto those that after should live ungodly and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked and this is what we're seeing now man you know we see the prophets you know the believers in Yahweh shot vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked man which this is what we're talking about you know and again the Lord didn't spare uh, the old world man and the old world, you know, is 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 basically uh, nothing to be compared to to what we're seeing now, man. Because with all the technological advances and so-called science, you know, uh, Esau has, uh, to a point, perfect perfected wickedness, man. You know, to the point that now, as we're gonna read in this article, you know, men, uh, could be women and women could be men more than they were able to, uh, back in the ancient world, man. You know, and 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 what and we have the the account of Sodom and Gomorrah to remind us what happens uh, to a place uh, that that condones and uh and upholds those type of activities, man. You know, which is what ultimately a uh, fire, man. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah was burned through what through uh, fire and brimstone. Which we know that that's the same components that are found in what in nuclear weapons, man. Which ultimately are what are gonna be that 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 last and final judgment that the heavenly Father is gonna unleash upon the world, man. Chiefly upon Babylon the Great, aka America, which is the one pushing, you know, this vibration, man. So let's go into this article real quick. We're not gonna go through the whole thing. We we'll just read a couple key points, and we'll get into the scriptures. Um. It says, this is from the Daily Mail. It says, Sarah Vine. It says, Calvin claims so real advert try valises the trans uh, debate. It says, and this was uh, from May 19, 2002, the year of the turn up, 2022, so like it. It says, when it comes to, <clears throat> to the debate around trans issues, I have one simple rule, go for it. If you were born male but want to live as female, go for it, which all of this is wickedness. If you're a woman who wants to be a man, go for it. Just remember that you are not the only one with rights and understand that this and understand that for this to work we must all respect each other's opinions even if they happen to defer. Oh, at the end of the day, this is not about gender, it's about humanity, which is not, man. There is right and there is wrong, there is light and there is dark, one set, set against another. And because you people don't want to be canceled out and don't want to be, you know, or shamed upon, uh, this is the excuse. It's all about humanity, it's all about acceptance, you know, which Yahabah Shema Shai is not about that, man. The Lord is about righteousness and evil. You know, and, and, and those that do righteousness are going to get a righteous reward. And those that do wickedness are going to receive a wicked reward, man, which is uh, death. You know, uh, it says, and how we treat our fellow man, woman, or for that matter, anyone in between. It says, th that said, there is a small, there is a small minority uh, of the transformer community who, whose motives and modules or uh, operandi I really can't fathom for example so it, exactly you know you have these people these transformers that say they're one thing you know and then they do that thing which they say they're not this these this couple man you know you have this woman right here which was a woman and decided to what to chop off her breast you know, take hormones, grow a beard, all this, uh, you know, body hair, you know, so-called be a man, but then goes and gets pregnant by what? By not a man, but a so-called woman that was born a man that's now a woman. You see, it's nothing but confusion. That's why this place is called Babylon the Great, you know, and this is the country that first started, you know, pushing 
those surgeries, man. You know, the the uh, male to to female and female to male. It was America, man. You see, it says, and and people don't don't understand why, you know. And ultimately, they don't understand because they don't got the spirit on them. But we understand that the Lord put that spirit upon you, people, man, to destroy you, man. You know, it says, um, f for example, I don't understand why if you have functioning male genitalia, this person right here, and enjoy having sex with women, this person right here. <laughs> I mean, th this person has a male genitalia, salagia. So let's read this again. For example, I don't understand if you have a functioning male genitalia, this person right here. And enjoy having sex with women, this person right here, you would prefer to identify it as a trans lesbian instead of a man, this person right here. It just seems like a lot of time and effort and a heartache to achieve in the end the same result. That's right. So, you know, these people claim, this person claims that he is a woman, you know, which he's a man who turned himself into a woman. But he likes women that turn themselves into men. You see how just all out confusing that is, man? It says, or perhaps perhaps not, ask Leah Thomas, the trans swimmer who insists on being categorized as a woman. Despite all of the above, uh, does the very fact that I dare to ask this question make me a transphobe or a bigot? In the eyes of some, for sure. But... <clears throat> From my viewpoint, I really don't want to know more. I really do want to know more. It is a genuine question. Here's another one. Why would a trans man who has hormone therapy to become male in appearance uh, grow a beard, this person right here, grow a beard and body hair, develop an Adam's apple, and have having surgery to remove his breast decide to get pregnant you see so you yourself well in their logic say what well, oh i don't want to be i'm a i'm a man stuck in a woman's body but then now you want to do something that women do you see and that's basically pretty much what this article goes into man and there was a whole controversy you know behind this people were upset they actually put this out as a you know as a I think it was on Mother's Day you know an ad for Mother's Day you know talking about I think they mentioned it over here let's I don't want to go through this whole thing uh, yeah right here uh, they put it as a Mother's Day yep it says as a part of the campaign in honor of Mother's Day in America in Babylon the Great uh, and allegedly paying tribute to mothers everywhere, it features the heavily the heavily pregnant Bette, which is the man, uh, the so-called man, in the brand's iconic underpants, accompanied by a quote from the expecting father explaining, "We can produce biologically, or from the heart. Our role in this world is to love and to be loved." That's right. You see, so everything is about what acceptance, because love in this world is 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 nothing but acceptance, man. Just accept me the way that I am, or however I am. You know, this is what love means in this world, man. You see, and this is, you know, these people, man. Look at this. And as we know, the Lord is totally against this, man. But Babylon is a a a, a God fearing country. You know, you see, look at this, through, so let's get into some scriptures, you know, and, uh, yeah, we'll close it out on that, because, hey, man, this place is fucking finished, man, it says, Isaiah 3 and verse 9, it says, the show of their countenance does witness against them, and they declare the sin of Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil to themselves. So they've rewarded evil to themselves, getting all this, you know, transformation, you know, or acting the way they do, man. 
you know, they're doing evil unto themselves because at the end of the day, at least you repent, which we highly doubt it, and you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed, man. The Lord's gonna get rid of you, people, man. These two, as long as as well as all of the others that live all around the world, man. The Lord hates this activity, man. You know. And they, they look like they jakes, man. From from the names, this dude's name is Roberto Bete and this other whatever the hell they want to call themselves is uh what's your fucking name? But yeah, who gives a damn about their name? But they look like they, they jakes, man. You know? Let's see if it says something. But whatever. But anyways, they doing, you know, evil unto themselves, man. Because at the end of the day, again, the, the, the wages of sin is death, man. And we entering into a time where, man, if you're not looking at world events, man, you in la-la land. Because right now we're, you know, entering into Jacob's trouble. World War Three is about to, you know, go off anytime soon. It's been building up, you know. The global reset, the digital reset. It's, it's, it's right in our doorsteps, man. You know, the MOTB. So ju great judgment is going to fall upon the world, man, on the whole world. And you people that are living a life of sin, you know, you're going to start being judged soon, man. And it's not going to be an easy death. You know, people think like, well, I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do. I'm going to die anyways. You know, it's not going to just be a, a, a easy death. The Lord's gonna judge you Cause that's pride People that speak like that Is, is pride And these people are Man th That's why you know They call it pride month And all this Cause they They know what they're doing But they Willingly are, are Rebelling against The Heavenly Father man So they're gonna get You know What they deserve Which is gonna be a Lord willing A gruesome death You know Something that That they fear most man uh, Romans uh, 1 and 21 Which we're gonna go into it right now It says uh, because that Because that When they knew the Most High They glorified Fought him not as the Most High And neither were thankful But became vain in their imagination And their <clears throat> And their fool And their foolish heart Was darkened That's right So they do these type of acts Because their Their hearts are darkened man. You know And they don't glorify the Most High They just want to do whatever You know Makes them Happy it says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like unto corruptible man and to birds and to four-footed four beasts and creeping things, uh, idols. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And look at this, man. You chopping off, you know, your... Women chopping off their breasts, men, I don't know, no, I don't think he chopped off his, you know, his rod, but, you know, uh, he added, you know, breasts into himself, you know, defiling yourself, man. It says, who changed the truth uh, of the Most High into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator who is blessed forever, amen. And the truth of the Most High is that what? That a woman is born a woman no matter what. And a man is born a man. And that's the truth. That's the bottom line, man. You are, you are born a man. You are going to be a man forever. Even if you change your genitals, that's your chromosome. Your DNA tells us that you're a man. And the same thing with a woman. You could do whatever the hell you want. Put up a, put a penis. Uh, get some beard. Do whatever you want. But your DNA is telling you the fact that this dude, so-called... Is pregnant is telling you that what that your DNA that you are made a woman and you cannot escape it, man. So what? So you're turning the truth of the Most High into a lie, but you trying to convince people out here that oh no, you a man, you a man, and and that's the bottom line. No, you a woman. You got pregnant. You a woman. And the same thing with this other person. If you're able to impregnate a woman, you a man. If you have seeds, sperm coming out of your genitals, you are men. You see? But they just want to show the world like, nah, 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 that's not, that's not it. This is the way. We're, we're a woman. I'm a man, but I'm a woman. You see? Like, just nothing but confusion. 
changing the truth of the Most High, which is evident, into a lie. Uh, verse 26, for this cause the Most High gave them up to unto vile affections, for their, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burnt in their lust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense uh, of their error which was me. And again, this is what this is a man lusting for another man, although so called you know, or not so called, a man lusting for a so called uh man, which is happens to be a, a woman, you know. But the intention is that what? That he's a man inside his mind, he's a man. And he likes men. You see? And the woman too. The woman is a woman and she wants to be with woman. So and she decides to be with somebody like this and turn himself into herself into a man. But it says, uh Oh uh, and it says, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was me. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind uh, to do those things which are not convenient. That's right. And then it goes into these characteristics, which all of those alphabetic community have, man. Which is what? Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity. Whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, again, pride month, you see, boasters, inventors of evil things. This is an invention of evil things, man. Who came up with this? Esau. And Esau is the first, the first, or, or the most, <laughs> uh, you know, Ketamite. He wasn't the first one, but he's the most. It says, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural and affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do it. Meaning what? This relationship. You see? Hey, the, the Lord put all these things uh, as examples unto us, Akim. You know, so we ain't mad. Yeah, it's vexing that we have to see these separate things, but we're not mad. You people do what you have to do. At the end of the day, everybody's going to get recompensed for their, for their works, man. And we know that this is not of the Most High, you know, something that the Most High approves. But... Hey, we, we can't do nothing to stop it. So keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to get your reward soon, man. You know, again, Isaiah 5 and 20, and 20 woe meaning destruction uh, unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So destruction unto you, man. You see? Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for the reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. That's right, and that goes to those that, that do it and to those that defend it. You know, this person writing this article, you know, he basically or her, she basically is like, yeah, just let them do what, what they got to do. I'm cool with it, you know, but we're not cool with it. And we know that somebody's going to come and, and, and judge them. So just, I guess, wait for a missile, man, or wait for your judgment, you know? And uh, to solidify the point that the Lord is not against, I mean, not, not with this, we'll go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5, which says what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh with that power. And again, if if just wearing the clothes, the garment of the opposite sex is an abomination to the Most High, guess what the Most High thinks about this, man? 
you 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 know chopping up your body parts you're adding things you know so hey i don't even have to mention it because it's self-explanatory you know so hey uh, again babylon the great is 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 finished man we are at a point where it's 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 just too much and we know it's gonna get even worse but hey, it's part of the battle, Akiem. You know that's why we gotta sign, cry unto the Lord to get us out of here, man. Because if the Lord don't come back, man, we will find ourselves in a world that is just too much, man. Too too much wickedness, defilement everywhere, you know. And and, and it's inevitable, man, that this must happen for the Lord to come and judge this place. You know, so hey, with that, Akim, I hope the lesson was edifying. Again, all praises, honor, and glory going to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and others that great most on, and peace, salutation to all you Akim out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well as to you believers in Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Hey, shalom, till next time.